An unlikely battle over a rare object has been fought in the courts after an antiques dealer bought an African mask for £130 and then sold it for £3.6 million. The purchaser of the unusual item has now won a legal battle with its previous owners, after a judge ruled the elderly French couple failed to appreciate its true worth. The couple, in their 80s, sold the wooden mask in September 2021 as part of a number of antiquities including African artifacts they had kept in their secondary home in southern France and wanted to be rid of. The objects had belonged to an ancestor who was a governor in Africa, and were believed to be of little value. Apart from the mask, they also included lances, bellows and musical instruments. They let the mask go for 150 euros, 130 pounds. But in March 2022 it was sold to an unidentified buyer at an auction in the southern city of Montpellier, fetching 4.2 million euros, 3.6 million pounds. The auctioneers described it as an extremely rare 19th century mask, property of a secret society of the Fang people in Gabon, an ethnic Bantu group, with only around 10 such objects still in existence. The couple promptly filed for an injunction to cancel the original sale, arguing there had been an authentication error. They also said the mask's buyer was aware of the mask's real value at the time of the purchase. But the court rejected the request, saying the couple had failed to make any attempt to get the mask valued before selling. Their claim was characterized by inexcusable negligence and frivolity. The court said, ruling that they were not owed any money. It also ruled that the antiquities dealer, who himself was no expert on African art, did not cheat them. The dealer actually offered to pay them 300,000 euros, around $330,000, the auction starting price, but the couple's children refused, preferring to take the matter to court. The couple's lawyer, Frederick Mansat Jaffa, said after the verdict that his clients were dumbstruck by the decision and considering an appeal. The court also threw out a separate motion by the government of Gabon to have the sale cancelled and the mask returned. So, do you think the decision to rule in the buyer's favor was the right one? Or should the original owners have gotten a slice of the 3.6 million pounds? Either way, what an incredible story about an old mask, steeped in history.